In this video, I'm going to show you how to instantly relieve arthritic sacroiliac joint pain. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can offer both quick and long-lasting relief for arthritic sacroiliac joint pain. If you're unfamiliar with the sacroiliac joint, commonly known as the SI joint, it's the union of the sacrum and the two ilium of the pelvis, and it acts as a shock absorber for the spine above. When a lot of wear and tear builds in this area, it can lead to osteoarthritis, which can cause lower back pain that works down into the buttocks, even towards the thigh. To make it really easy, I'm going to break the video up into two separate parts. In the first part, we're going to focus on getting quick relief by just loosening everything up. In the second part, we're going to focus on long-lasting relief by strengthening the muscles that help support the SI joint. To get the best results, make sure to go through both parts and use what works best for you. With that being said, Let's get started. In the first part, we're going to go over a couple exercises that are going to focus on giving quick pain relief. So if you're in a lot of pain right now, start off with these ones. The first one you can do right in bed, just lie flat on your back like this. This is going to be a series of three movements, but I promise you they're really easy to do. The first one is called the butterfly. You're going to take your feet, put them together just like this, and then gently press your heels into the bed. The more that you press your heels down, the more that you should feel the muscles around the hips start to fire. This would be the glutes, which helps support the sacroiliac joint. So once we feel that, we're then going to take our knees and then just wing or press them down towards the floor as much as we can. As you do this, you should now start to feel a really good activation of the muscles in the inner part of the thigh, working towards the groin into the hips. Once you feel that, you want to hold this comfortably for a second or two. And then from there, you're going to bring your knees up like this. So it's kind of like a flapping motion of a butterfly. So we're going to come up like this, put our knees together, hold this for a second or two, and then go back down. Try to do this for about 15 repetitions in both directions. And with each repetition, challenge yourself. Try to bring your knees down even further to activate those muscles. So the next movement is going to be called the windshield wiper. For this one, what we're going to do is have our legs roughly hip width apart. Again, we're going to gently press our heels into the bed to activate the glutes. I'd like to take my hands, put them right off to my side. From here, just like a windshield wiper, what we're going to focus on doing is taking our knees downward towards one side, really focusing this time around on a deep stretch on the outside of your leg that goes towards your hips. Try to keep your lower back as flat as possible too, so we're only moving through our hips and through our pelvis. So go down as far as you can, feel that deep stretch around the hips into the pelvis, Hold this one for a second or two, and then just go towards the other side. Again, I like to do this one for about 15 repetitions in both directions. So the last movement is called the corkscrew, and a lot of people like this one because it's going to put a lot of motion across that sacroiliac or SI joint. You might get a satisfying self-pop crack or release. So for this one, you're going to straighten one leg like this while the other knee goes bent at 90 degrees, knee straight up towards the ceiling. You're going to take the hand on the other side, grab right on the outside of your knee. So my left hand is grabbing on the outside of my right knee. And now what you're going to do is just simply pull your knee across your body just like this. What you want to do is focus on that initial stretch, feeling it on the outside of your hip right here, but keep pulling over until you feel it really build throughout the pelvis around that sacroiliac joint and then finally going into the lower back. Once you feel that, hold this comfortably for about five seconds, release it, and then repeat this about five times. And then from there, you're going to relax and then repeat it on the other side. Again, when you do this, you might get that satisfying pop or release, but don't try to force it. Only go for a deep stretch. But go through all of these movements. You're probably going to find that one just works a little bit better, just really stretches right over that sacroiliac joint. At that point, throw more repetitions in. This next quick pain relief exercise you can do seated. What you're going to do is whatever side that you're having the most amount of pain, let's say it's your right side, take that side's ankle and place over your other side's knee. So when you look down, it should look like a figure four. I know a lot of people with arthritis are going to struggle to get into this position. So this is how you can make it a little bit easier. Take the other leg, straighten it out like this, put your ankle over the other side shin, 
grab your pant leg or in front of the shin and then just slide it up into position. So let's go over a couple different movements and the last one you're really gonna wanna check out because it'll take it to the next level. So with this bent knee right here, let's cup around it with our hands and then pull the knee towards the other side shoulder. So my right knee towards my left shoulder like this. As you do this, you want to focus on feeling a really good stretch on the outside of your thigh that works towards the hip into the pelvis. You should really feel it off to the side of the pelvis right here into that sacroiliac joint. Once you feel that, hold this comfortably for about three to five seconds and then relax and then repeat this five times. With each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. So the next movement with this exercise is now going in the opposite direction. So we're going to take this bent knee, press it down towards the floor but don't use your hands. Instead, use your leg and hip strength. Activate those muscles, press down. As you do this one, you're going to feel the muscles activate a little bit differently. I feel it a little bit more towards the inner part of my thigh into the groin and also around the hip. Hold this one three to five seconds, release it, repeat that five times. And I do recommend doing all of these on both sides just to help keep everything in balance. But this is how we're really going to take it to the next level. Put some more movements in there to target some more muscles and hopefully get some more relief. So what we want to do is just take this knee right here, the bent knee, press it down just gently to the point where you feel those muscles around the hip start to engage. That would be the glutes. Once you feel that, you're going to hold that. Now pull your arms out in front of you, kind of like a genie, and what you want to do is just slowly turn and rotate through your lower back and waist towards the other side. Just go a little bit, and then from there, you're going to hold this and now tilt downward like this towards the other side. So we're going to turn and then tilt. As you do this, you're going to feel a good activation of the muscles in the lower back that works downward towards the belt line, right near that SI joint. Hold this one comfortably for about five seconds and then relax. On the next repetition, turn into it just a little bit more and then repeat. Keep doing this over and over again until you can't turn any further. You're probably going to find that one certain position, like just a little bit of a turn and then tilt, just hits that tightness in that area the best. At that point, treat it like your weak link and stop over that spot and keep throwing repetitions in until everything is nice and loose. In the second part, we're going to focus on getting long lasting pain relief by strengthening the muscles that help support the sacroiliac joints. These are perfect to do daily. The first one you can do right in bed, just lie flat on your back like this, have your knees bent, legs off the edge. Whatever side that you're having the most amount of SI joint pain, let's say it's your right side, bend your knee roughly at 90 degrees and have your knee up towards the seat. Ceiling. What you want to do next is take your foot on that side and turn it inward as much as you can. The more that you turn it inward, the more that you're going to feel a lot of muscles across the legs start to fire, but you should also feel it right across the hip. Once you feel that, hold this position. What we're going to do from there is take our hands, overlap them, and put them right on the inner part of our knee. The movement from here is trying to drive this knee towards the other side shoulder. So I'm trying to drive my right knee towards my left shoulder, but I'm going to resist against that movement with my hands. The more that you press into your hands, the more that you're going to feel the muscles across the hips, into the pelvis, around the belt line, start to fire. But let your hands win this battle. Press into it and then hold this one comfortably for three to five seconds. Relax and then repeat this five to 10 times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. So to take this one to the next level, we can add in another movement to target the SI joint just a little bit differently. Let me demonstrate it on the other side so you can see it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is bend my knee again, roughly at 90 degrees, but this time around, we're going to turn our foot outward as much as we can. Again, you should feel a lot of muscles across the leg and the hip start to fire. Once you can't go any further, you're going to hold this and the movement is a little bit different this time around. So instead of trying to take our knee towards our shoulder, we're just going to swing our leg like this outward as much as we can 
focusing on moving through our hip as much as possible. So really just try to move through your hip only. We're going to overlap our hands and put them on the outside of our knee this time around and then resist against that movement. So when I do this one, I really feel it on the outside of my thigh that works right towards my glutes, the buttocks region, into the pelvis. Again, try to hold this one comfortably for three to five seconds, relax, and then repeat this five to 10 times. But go through all of these movements. You're probably going to find that one just feels really weak, tight, achy, painful. At that point, build into it over and over again. Throw some more repetitions in until you feel like you've got a really good workout. And I do recommend doing this on both sides to keep everything in balance. This next strengthening exercise we can do in bed or on a floor. Just start off lying on your side with the painful side up towards the ceiling and support your head with your hand just like this. So we're going to do a movement first called the clamshell. What you're going to do is keep your feet together and then slide your knees upward like this towards your upper body until you feel a gentle stretch right here into your hips. Once you feel that, you're going to hold this position, try to have your back as straight as possible also, and you're just going to raise this top side's knee upward like this and just try to wing it backward as much as you can. The more that you wing your knee backward, the more that you're going to feel a lot of muscles start to fire. You should feel it on the outside of your thigh, working into the hip, into the glutes, across that sacroiliac joint. Once you feel that, hold this comfortably for about five seconds and then relax and then repeat this five to 10 times. And with each repetition, try to build into it just a little bit more. If it feels like you have a little bit more energy, challenge yourself by throwing in another set or two. So if you really want to take this one to the next level, this is what you can do. Let's straighten our body out like this. So pretty much our back and our legs are in a nice straight line. What you're going to do with this top leg is keep it straight and now lift it up like this towards the ceiling as much as you can. This one is going to be a lot more difficult than the clamshell, so expect to feel those muscles really start to get activated across the pelvis. Go up as far as you can, hold this one for five seconds, and then what you're going to do is slowly lower your foot downward like this, but resist against your leg weight. So we're going to resist going up and then also down. It targets the muscles just a little bit differently. Give that one a try for about five to 10 repetitions. If you want to take this one to even the next level, as you do this, raise your leg up, but turn your foot outward at the same time. With this one, I really feel it activate more into the glutes, especially on the outside, which is going to help strengthen those SI joints. So give that one a try. And as you come back down, what you're going to do is then turn the foot inward as much as you can. So we're going up, turning the foot out, and as we come down, we're turning the foot in. But give that one a try when you are ready. Just remember, with all of these exercises, even if one side hurts, you always want to do them on both sides to help keep everything in balance. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.